some tips from her on what you should take with you when you travel. Hi, I'm Carla Menendez and I just want to share with you in my bag what I have while I travel. It's very important that you always have a good foundation or some kind of powder. I'm using La Mer. What I like about this is that it has a separate powder puff in the bottom so it doesn't get moist on top of your foundation. And it's light for places like um, Bahamas or St. Thomas. Um, second, I bring a shimmer. The shimmer is multi-versatile. You can put this shimmer on your eyelids and do, um, you know, just do a, a liquid liner with the shimmer. Um, you can put it on your cheekbones. It's very versatile. And I like to take that wherever I go. Also, I take a little tiny brush to fix my hair when I have to. And get this any Sally Beauty Supply. Um, if I want to do a full smoke eye, I bring a kit because it's easier to travel with. And this is called Cargo. And this is the um, bronze eyeshadow kit. Beautiful, obviously I've used it. So how cute is that? You can, uh, it tells you exactly how to use it. So you have your brow bone, uh, you have your uh, main color, and then on your lids, and then you have a crease, and you have the outer corner. So you have no trouble doing your smoke eye here um, on vacation. Then I always carry a good blush. So this one is Estee Lauder, and it's, uh, I like to do hot pink if I'm on vacation. It's, it comes out really light on your skin, but uh, I like that better than orange. So, in addition, you have to have a mascara, so I try to carry a small one. This is MAC Zoom Lash. It's very easy, you can get up and go with that one. Uh, along with all that, I carry um, brushes of all sorts um, for application. So this is an eyeliner brush. It's, it's slanted so you can go in, in the outer corner like that and then you can flip it back around and go into the inner corner and pull it out that way. The, I love the slanted brush. And then I have an all over brush. You know, at home I have like probably 30 brushes, but when I travel I only use a couple. This is an all over brush, beautiful Church McAvoy. And then I have a blush brush that has been used to death. Probably need to get another one of these. <laughs> um, I have a powder brush. That's important to put your powder on if you're not using a sponge. Then I have a little detail brush in case I need that. So sometimes, sometimes when I do the smoke eye, I'll use this brow right here and I'll put it in the crease in between right here and right here and then on my brow. And then this is a great white liner. So this white liner I put inside my eyes. You can also do inside the crease if you want to get adventuresome, but I like to put it inside my eyes so my eyes always look nice and bright and fresh. And it has another sponge applicator on the end. This is Trish McAvoy. And the sponge applicator, if you put it in the crease, you can kind of smear it. And then moving on to my lipstick, I always carry a good lipstick. I like this pink one from MAC. It's out for fall. Um, Perpetual Flame. And it's 12 hours, it stays on all day long. In addition, this kind of gets a little drying sometimes. Not as much as the other ones do, but when it does, you just put on a great gloss, whichever one you choose. This one is, is MAC, and I've, I've worn, I've really worn this one out, so. Um, and then I have my little trick. Your hair kind of gets oily, say you're going out. This is Cake Satin Sugar. So your hair looks oily, 
say you've been out all morning and afternoon, and then you have to go out at night to a restaurant, and your hair is super oily, you don't have time to wash it. What are you going to do? Put this powder on it. It's amazing. It will give you volume in your hair, and it will, um, it's beautiful. It will make, it will absorb all the oil, excess oil in your hair, and it is talc free and paraben free. Those are, those are good freeze to think about. So um, that's what I carry in my makeup bag.